Okay. So we're talking about... So I guess our first question we have for you is mm -hmm. if you could give us the <clears throat> brief history of the studio visit and why you decided to start it. Okay. So the brief history. I'll try to be brief. Um, it started as a blog in 2008 um, as for me, a need to get out of my own studio and visit other people in their their element outside of the art opening and get to know them in terms of process, which is what I enjoy the most, is understanding the artist's mind and their, their process, their intellectual or technical, and um, speaking with them one-on-one. -on -one. And I decided that why not document it? So it became... Um, a, a video, f photo, video, article, write up um, in my first person point of view. And people seemed to really enjoy it. And so then it expanded. I had one of my former AU students um, offer to design a new website. And so then it just transferred from the Blogspot platform to um, its own website, which is what it is right now. And now it's a, a, a team of, of people uh, with you guys. Are, interns and our program manager and um, now a media director but more importantly it's a collaborative effort between um, contributors that are based all over the world right now and um, the idea is to focus on artists contemporary working artists who are in all stages of their career to that and feature them and um, speak to them um, from an art artist point of view so all our team contributors are artists themselves whether they're um, in a curatorial job or a professor or um, working at a gallery, they all are artists themselves too. And for me, that's really important to have people, um, you know, to have that dynamic of an artist um, interviewing another artist. And uh, we're hoping to continue it <clears throat> um, and grow uh, as, as I move and make the next step to Berlin, Germany. And that is really part of our mission with the studio visit is to create a dialogue um, amongst um, artists and um, and hopefully introduce you know one another you know in terms of more of a global exchange between not just artists but uh, curators, um, museum directors, collectors, and um, and um, for me the most crucial point aside from making one's art is the the feedback one gets from after making or in pro in progress, so ha having taught at AU for 11 years um, and really enjoy being a part of these critiques, both individual and group critiques, I realized that it's such an important. It, it just makes sense to extend that arm of the mission of the studio visit journal that I was starting, where I'm visiting people in their studios, but then to bring it out and say, okay, these people are now in their studios. What happens next? So it's not just you and your in your studio working alone but you need that feedback that community so i thought well why not start a critique series um, that is an extension and an integral part of of the studio visit um, mission and so it has been really f phenomenal we've been having excellent um, feedback and response and participation most importantly so um, the critiques are modeled after these graduate um, critiques that happen in grad programs like in AU and um, most other grad programs across the world and people come together and um, the, I guess the difference with the studio visit that I find really um, distinctive is that we have it open to the public and it's not a, you know a specific TSV community it's a very um, it's it's different every time so artists are invited to submit their uh, link their web link and some JPEGs and we still go through a, you know a kind of a vetting but very minimally and then it's a first come first serve and so artists then are um, notified if you know there's a space to present and once they have been said okay that you you know you're in bring your work um, bring at least five physical pieces of work in and then we also have a guest moderator so in addition to the studio visit team we have um, someone that comes in as well and so we've had um, people like Philip Barlow who's a, a well-known Washington collector um, Jamie McClellan owner of civilian projects gallerist 
and um, many other people, Corinne Miller of the Flashpoint Gallery, co-moderate, and it's been wonderful. And you get a different voice every time, a different dynamic. And that's what I think um, is the most important um, takeaway, I guess, out of these events, these um, presentations. And the artists themselves have, you know, from their testimonials, um, have found it really rewarding and refreshing that it's not just the same voice. And so I, for me, it's really important that I'm not always the one that's there, but I do, you know, as the person that's kind of organizing it, there, there has some, you know, consistency or an anchor, but I want to have a different voice. The audience is, of course, um, invited to participate, and um, that's what it does become. It's a dialogue, a discourse.